Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today we have a special show as we are live at the ABV Barrel Shop Tasting Bar, where we are testing the new Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Series, which is pretty cool. This is stuff that they distilled. My name is Steve Akeley. I'm joined by my partner in uh, in business here at the ABV Barrel Shop, Mr. Jim Fosnett. Hey, Jim, how you doing, man? Great, Steve. How are you? Good, good. So, yeah, this is kind of fun. We're going to be talking about Bardstown Bourbon Company, and they've been out for a while, but what's been different about them is, and I love how they do, they put the little chart on the side that shows you... You know, this is a, a sourced uh, six-year-old Indiana whiskey or what, whatever it is that goes into it. But this one's different. The chart is just singular because it's stuff that they distilled, right? Yeah, it's everything coming out straight from their distillery. So pretty excited for to try this out here and uh, excited for them to hit the age where this... Uh, yeah, in the market. Yeah, it looks like we've got offerings all the way up to six <clears throat> years old here, right? Yes, so, yes, yeah. we do. So that's that's going to be fun. And, of course, uh, they're a big production facility, so they're making a lot of stuff. So just as we're getting to that point now, uh, I only see uh, good things ahead moving forward for them. But we'll taste that. We'll get to that after the break. For right now, we wanted to talk about... St. Louis Bourbon Conversations, a new uh, Facebook group that uh, I launched today. And uh, it's the idea is, I feel like Facebook groups, bourbon groups have lost their way. It's uh, If you get on any of them, and it's, I'm not pointing the finger at anybody, but if you get, I, I'm just saying in general, uh, it's, it's devolved to the point where they're all crotch shots, oh. Flex shots, like look at what I got. Uh, you know, it's it's all uh, about uh, posturing and and uh, or or to rake people over the coals. Like look at this retailer sells Blantons for two hundred fifty dollars. Which again, that's annoying. Uh, it, it pisses all of us off. But do I want to? Do I need to see the hundredth picture of a two hundred fifty dollars Blantons when I've seen uh, you know one hundred ninety nine of them before that? Probably not. No, and I love this concept, and I think you're right. I think most bourbon groups have devolved to that yeah and you know it's not necessarily they started out to be and we've actually seen some some people complaining about that lately on some different bourbon groups and again nothing against those groups it's it's kind of what's happening in the industry or within social media um so i love this concept steve i think it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, we'll see how this develops yeah so it's going to be a daily topic so just and, and the idea is not to do too much not just say all right we've created a forum to talk about bourbon go uh, you know, I, I think that there may be some synergy about that in the beginning. People also like, yeah, we've got this idea and we can, we can, uh, we can all talk bourbon and, and next thing you know, there's 40 conversations and it's confusing and you're getting all these notifications. I said, you know what, let's streamline this. Let's have one topic a day. I'll throw it out there. That doesn't mean I have to come up with all the concepts. We want to engage our audience, get people to say, Hey, Steve, put this out there and I'll do that. And I will give you credit too, by the way, it's, it's not about, this isn't about me at all, really. It's yeah. about the whiskey. And we want to encourage people, if you have a topic that you want to discuss, send an email to Steve or to the uh, ABV Barrel Shop or to the ABV Network, and uh, you know, let's get those topics out there, because it gets tough to think of a topic every, every day. day. Yeah. We do this every day. We're, we're talking about, oh, small talk. You think it'd be easy to come up with a topic for stuff. And it's a struggle when you're doing something that's you know seven days a week to come up with a topic. So if you have something out there, by all means, let Steve know. We'd love to get it out there, and let's have a conversation. 
Yeah, I think that that's the, uh, the the cool thing about this is, and again, you may be like, well, I can come up with 15 topics right away. This isn't easy. Well, yeah, the first 15 is pretty easy. What about number 16 then, and 17, and 24, and 41? So yeah, yeah. the, the idea if we can get a big group involved and, and putting out topics and things like that, I think it's going to be good. And if you have 15, send all 15. Send all 15. We want them. <laughs> we'll, we'll read through them. We've got to decide which ones make sense to put out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it makes, makes it easier. It's, again, like Steve said, it's not all about him. We want to have a great conversation with the with the bourbon community, whiskey community in here. And uh, so, yeah, help help us help you. Yep. It launched today. And the, the other rules of the group is you, you can't post anything. So no one's going to be posted. <coughs> hey, here's 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 my picture of a bottle I acquired. Those those will just be deleted. Again, nothing personal. Uh, nor will we accept other, you know, conversations. A, again, if someone puts out there, they, they want to talk about something, I would delete it. I would then send them a message, say, hey, do you want this to be a topic we talk about maybe tomorrow or something like that? So, yeah, that's the goal. Just one topic a day. Let's talk whiskey, which is something that Jim and I like to do. So, yeah, we're both going to be very actively involved in this. If you drive by our store every day, there's a big sign there that says, let's talk whiskey and come in. And that's what we do every day. Yeah. So let's let's do it on online as well and have fun with it. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a, a great way to be involved. <clears throat> Again, kind of an ABV barrel shop thing where you don't have to live here in St. Louis to be involved with what we're doing at the ABV barrel shop, talking whiskey. So fun stuff. So it's a, it's a, a public group. So you don't no need to... You join so you get the notifications and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. But anybody can see it. You can see what's going on. Again, we're going to make sure that it stays pleasant. Uh, never any personal attacks because I, I do want to foster uh, conversation. And, and when, when you're fostering conversation, I have my opinion on things. And the way conversation isn't like I put it out there and everybody just says yes. I want people talking from the other perspective, but that doesn't mean I personally then attack them. That's that's the downfall of Facebook is, you know, I don't like what you say, so I got to MF you and yell at you and, uh, you know, try to humiliate you. We're never going to have those type of things. I, I, we want to have good conversation and, and know that up front, we're not going to agree with everything everybody says. Well, and maybe you'll change our mind on something. Right. Maybe, you, maybe you have an, an opinion on something that we haven't thought of, your angle or whatever else, and, and maybe it'll make us kind of rethink our process on that. So we'd love to hear it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, what we're going to do next, we're not going to drink going out to the break like we normally do because we're going to be drinking when we come back. We are going to try these for the first time. We have them poured and ready to go, but we have not tasted them yet. So this is going to be the new Origin Series from Bardstown Bourbon Company. We'll do that in just a few. Let's talk about the people who make these shows happen. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon, as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels, owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We'll also have a 24C classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop. It's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Stave and Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the Society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows 
and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers, leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky. Hi, this is Rick Brenner, and you are listening to the Bourbon Daily. Shouldn't it be the legend? Yeah, maybe. All right, everybody, welcome back. We are here at the ABV Barrel Shop, and we are getting ready to taste the Origin Series for the first time. New products from Bardstown Bourbon Company. Pretty exciting stuff. What is up first? Jim's going to run through what's going on with these mash bill age. That you know, Bardstown always does a good job of telling you what they've got for you. So, what are they? What, what's the first one we're going to be tasting? So, the first one we're doing is Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Series Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is a six-year-old that they have distilled themselves. The mash bill is sixty percent corn. 36% rye, and 4% malted barley. That sounds pretty good to me. So. It does, in a six-year statement. Yeah, six-year nice. six year whiskey, high rye, sounds good to me. So let's see what we got here. All right. Ooh, that's nice it's on the nose, on the nose man. Yeah. It's rocking it, man. It's uh, it's desserty on the nose. Yeah, very creme brulee. Creme brulee, for sure, yeah. Okay. I like it. I like what's going on there. All right, let's give this thing a taste. The moment of truth. This is, what, this is truly what matters. So here we go. Cheers, Jim. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, it, uh, it it's, uh, you know, the surprising thing is not necessarily creme brulee in taste, more of kind of a, a peanut buttery brittle taste to me. I'm getting a, a lot of that on, yeah, on the Yeah, definitely taste. a lot of uh, peanut on, yeah. on there. So I was not expecting that, but it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I like it. Yeah. Uh, and it comes in at 94 proof. It drinks, it's got, it's got, it does have a finish, which is good. It's 96 proof. 96 proof. Yeah. Okay. So correct is there. It's 96 proof. Uh, it, it's it's good. That's a solid drinker. It also could hold up in a cocktail. This is a, a flexible bourbon here. This yeah. is something that you could utilize however you want. Whether you want to drink it neat, cocktail, rocks, whatever, it, it, it would definitely hold up. I'm assuming this will kind of be their mainstay, their their base bourbon. Kind of their flagship there. Uh, yeah. sounds like probably. So, so uh, yeah. that's a, a good offering for a flagship for them. Okay. All right. Next up on our list is a bottled and bond bourbon. What, what do we know about this one besides bottled and bond? Yeah, bottled and bond, obviously 100 proof. Again, distilled by them. It's a six-year. A uh, different mash bill, though. This is a 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% mar malted barley. So, a wheater. Yes. So this should be uh, interesting to see what we got out of this one. Okay, yeah. All right. This is going to be very different, I would assume, uh, than, our, than our last one. All right. Definitely on the nose. nose. Yeah. It's definitely, this one's <clears throat> definitely softer on the nose, for sure. Kind of cakey. So, yeah. A little dough, almost like mm -hmm. dough. Yeah, maybe just dough. All right, let's see. Here, cheers, cheers, Jim. Cheers again. All right. Yeah, that's that's very nice. Um, again, sweet, um, easy drinking. Uh, kind of kind of honey tasting on on there, for sure. And yeah, I, I like I like it. Yeah, definitely. People who are into weeders is going to be definitely up your alley. Definitely have the sweeter notes going on in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just a tiny bit of a hug there at the 100 proof. Yeah. Um, but enough to let you know it's there. And I think, again, this would hold up well in cocktails. Got a nice backbone to it. Yeah. It is uh, higher proof than the previous one, though. It drinks even lower than it that, does. which is yeah. uh, so that one's. That one is, uh, you know, kind of what you expect from a weeder. Those are soft and gentle. We need a weeder in here. We haven't had a weeder. I don't think we've ever had a, well, we did have Royce Neely kick, kicking off. We had a, a weeder from him, but, uh, so it's been since we opened the store that we've had a weeder in here, so we need to get one. We, we do, but we taste everything blind, so, you know. we got to be able to pick it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, gotta, yeah. Gotta get the, it's true. Got to get the right weeder in front of us to, yeah. to make us pick it. All right, last but not least, we move away from the bourbon for this last one. What do we got here on this one? So this one I'm really curious about. So this is a uh, Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Series Kentucky Straight Rye finished in toasted cherry wood and oak barrels okay so this one is five years eight months which for a rye that's pretty strong and it's 95 percent rye and five percent malted barley so this should be interesting yeah hmm okay uh that one <clears throat> looks 
delicious in the bottle. Uh, yeah, definitely yeah. more of an amber glow to that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got it's got some some reds to it. So which is and maybe it's just fool me because the cherry one. I'm thinking, oh, it's, it's, it's takes some cherry notes. <laughs> it's got cherry, <laughs> cherry coloring. Right, it has nothing to do with it, folks. But for me, I'm already fooled. I, that, that's why we like to know when we do our normal tasting, we do everything blind because yeah, everything starts to influence you. I'm like, my God, that looks like it's going to be a cherry bomb. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's talk one about this. Cheers. On, on, che cheers. Let's see what we got here. Woohoo! Now that um, that is spicy. It uh, it is a, a little bit uh, on the you got some oak in there too, and uh, it's solid, man. Uh, and the cherry uh, wood definitely. Anytime you, you, cherry wood's involved, that's a, that is a formidable uh, 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 oak, uh, formidable wood flavor, flavor. wood note. And uh, I'm definitely getting that here too. So, but so they didn't it's overdo it. It's no. not over. No. They, they could have easily gone overboard with mm -hmm. that note, and they did not. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's very well balanced. It's very complex for, uh, man, for that age. There's just a lot going on. It keeps developing. Um, it seems a little more viscous to me than the other two, so it tends to hang on the palate longer and develop more. Yeah, yeah. And it does, <clears throat> it does, uh, speaking of hang on the palate, I mean, as, you're, as I'm talking here right now, uh, I can feel, you know, the spice, the rye spice, zingers, as I like to say, uh, hitting the tongue. So it's like the, the tongue is sparking uh, right now. So well, what's the proof on this one, Jim? I don't know. You might have said it when you initially did it. Or I, you I probably that. didn't. I probably didn't. So, so let's see here. Uh, 96 proof. 96 proof. Okay. Very nice for 96 proof. So, yeah. Yeah. So. I, I don't know. I, I'm excited. I, I like Bardstown Bourbon Company anyway, and uh, I like what's going on with this series. It's, it's fun. So I think all three are, are very good offerings. That rye, you know, kind of stood above the others, but I think they're all are great in their own right. And uh, look forward to uh, seeing these on the shelves. Yeah, I think you would be uh, pleased to own any of these bottles. So if you see them out there, pick up the Origin series from Bardstown Bourbon Company. Uh, and I, and I, again, I look for more good things happening from those guys. They are a professional group and. Uh, you know, they, they just keep getting bigger. So they keep yeah. expanding that place. And uh, yeah, so they're, they're getting ready to take over the world, I think. So uh, we want to be their friends. So it's cool that they <laughs> sent us this. This was a, a sample set that uh, they sent us and uh, really, really good stuff. So very enjoyable for sure. So And a shout out to them for sending that to you, Steve. So they, uh, I appreciate getting a taste of this before it's really hitting the market. So uh, that's great. And I highly suggest that everybody go out and, and try this when they see it on the shelves. Heck yeah. All right, well, we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Jim, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? You can find me on Facebook at Jim Fosna. You can find me on Instagram at Foz Jim, or you can find me every Wednesday through Saturday hanging out in Arnold, Missouri at our ABV barrel shop, picking the best barrels for you to come in and buy. Heck yeah. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. The important website, though, is abvnetwork.com. Check that one out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, if you want to hear us uh, talking to Steve Nally, we've done that in the past. You can search that and uh, listen to an interview with him where he talks about Bardstown Bourbon Company. We've done a couple other shows dedicated to them as well. So check that out at abvnetwork.com. And also, Jim was talking about the barrel shop. Check us out there at abvbarrelshop.com. You can sign up for our uh, uh, list where we'll send you out what's going on. Twice a week, we send out emails. When we get in new things, we send out text sometimes. So you can sign up for that as well. And, of course, be sure if you're on Facebook to sign up for a new St. Louis bourbon conversations page again that way you get notifications you can participate in the uh in the questions that we have each day uh of course if you like what we're doing here at the abv network please give us a five-star review it helps new people find the show which is pretty darn important to us leave comments that also helps as well and last but not least head over to patreon.com slash the abv network and get involved we'd appreciate that and uh, of course looking forward to talking to you soon we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow until then take care everybody see ya cheers Peace. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Another friend of ours 
is the Goldstein family at Goldstone Mill. The Goldsteins offer a variety of heritage and heirloom grains to make the finest whiskeys in the world. Plus, they are more than just a grain company. They are truly consultants to make sure the grains they are providing to you or your business meet your highest expectations. Additionally, they work with mills around the country ensuring shipping is as low as possible for their customers. If you are a distillery, brewery, or even doing this at home, Goldstone can assist you. Check them out at goldstonemill.com, call them at 217-254-6613, or check in via email at hello at goldstonemill.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the Hazmat offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary, or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's birthday barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, but if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. Thank <laughs> you.